Hey everybody, Fred here from The Cake, and today, welcome back to the Back to the Future, the game, episode 5, I mean, episode 1, part, oh, head on, season 1, and which means episode 1, and, and episode 5, which means part 5, and yeah, last time, we found Doc Brown, he was in jail, which was horrible. I said, let's go back in town. So we're gonna continue where we last left off. And don't worry, I saved the game, which means we don't have to do the Edna's part again, which is from episode three part. I don't remember. Oh, look at this. We're like traveling back in time to where we saved the game at. We're traveling. What's the Academy Showcase? Are you doing your video? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's on the 14th. I know, but what is it? It's something, it shows you what you've been doing for your son's academy. Um, hey, do you want me to send a candy gram? Okay. Who do you want to send a candy gram to? I'm Nigel, but, okay, no more talking. I'm in the middle of a video. Okay. Okay, so now that's where we left off. I, this is where I saved the game up. Actually, it just, it just, te it took me here. When I saved up the game, I originally did, guys. Trust me. Go over here. This is where the jail was. I remember it like it was yesterday. Where am I going? Where am I going? Well, that guy's good as a soup kitchen. I could probably take a little break and eat some after this mission is completed. Duck! Duck! Come back here! Duck! 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 What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc! Yeah. I did? Yeah. May 14th, 1986. 1988? Oh, the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I've almost forgotten about that. But yeah. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? What? Sorry about that. It's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Hey, Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Yes, they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. It's very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan. A plan? Right. But what? Um... Let's go back in time. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. You're already talking about the end of the universe. I missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Man, I missed about talking about I missed that. I guess I could know. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? What? Rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? I didn't know. Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I have added the project that I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab. No, no, I said nearly complete. You need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely. What? About the space-time continuum. Don't talking to yourself cause, you know, irreparable damage to the space-time continuum or something? Yeah. It should be fine. I said no talking. Sorry. I've already... You can tell me after I ended the video. Invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just 
just had to go my younger self into finishing the prototype. How am I supposed, how am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. No. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flush capacitor for another 24 years. What am I supposed to do? Just be your charming self. What I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Okay. Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the city? Wow, I traveled 50 years in the past. You don't know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Soup kitchen. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. Hey. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm uh, not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Okay, let's go do that right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. Can I get the phone number? Good. Brown research the phone number. Awesome. Just going to hold on to this just in case. Okay, the phone number is still in my hand. Awesome. Soup kitchen. Oh, by the way, well, since I'm here, I can... Uh, what? I don't think so. Oh, I have that thing in my hand. Oh, God. I have the little thing in the head, in my hand. I have to press B. Ooh, nice job, Mom. Okay, the soup kitchen. Oh, look at that guy. Hello. What are you doing, bro? Nice hat. Yeah, this is good. Oh, my God, he's like him. McFly. McFly? Oh. Kid. Grandpa? Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Adi. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around some... Yeah, that's like, Stephanie oh, Biff. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher in here. Shut up. Why is all the Biff taking down all of the McFly's, except the one from 1885? One of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher. I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Would you? I knew uh, it. No, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Wait. Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Okay. Well. well okay. What? What are you still doing that's, here? That's a nice. Deal. Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that, and McFly. Yes. That hat's too flashy. Hey. You better let me hold on to it. Stop doing uh, that. Hey. Now scram. You got it, boss. Oh, come on. Don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Wait, maybe it was him that burned down the speaking and framed Doc. Okay. Magical soup, dudes. It's a magical soup. How did that deal happen? Oh, God. <laughs> now just be creepy. Oh, God. <laughs> I 
I kind of love the nails loading screen. It's like a fox capacitor on the loading screen. It's really cool. So here we go. Let's end the day. Yeah. But anyway, dudes, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely destroy the neck button. And if you, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely destroy that nice button like this. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in episode, wait, what's my number? Six, okay, bye.